Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Cruiser Air 28 SE. Let's go ahead and start up front, we'll make our way back and then head on in. You'll notice the nice aerodynamic beautiful fiberglass front cap on there, it kind of comes to a point right here at the nose and then it's going to cut back, especially right here you'll see this is going to be concave, that way it gives you greater turn radius for your vehicle. Uh, right up here is going to be some LED light strips, so it's going to look really cool at night, you can turn that on. And then if we take a look underneath here, open this up for you, you'll see you have nice clean storage right here up front. Over here is the battery, nice and tucked away, and then dead center is going to be your battery disconnect, which again, nice and easy to access to be able to turn off the power. Spare tire is going to be uh, mounted right underneath. All you have to do is put a tool right in there and you can go ahead and lower that tire down nice and easy. Uh, it, hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, it's nice to be able to access it quickly. If you take a look up top, a couple things about the Cruiser Air. Let's go all the way up to the roof line. You'll see it has a rolled roof, all right? It's going to come down further than most. A lot of your uh, motor homes, or motor homes, a lot of your fifth wheels in this class are only going to come down a little bit and it's going to be a nice sharp edge. Not the case in the Cruiser Air. It's going to roll over, come down that sidewall quite a ways. Big advantage to that, it's going to be a lot less chance for water intrusion. And also, if you do brush up against a tree or a building, it's less chance that you're going to tear that open because it's going to be a nice radius rather than a sharp edge. Uh, that's something you generally see on high-end fifth wheels. When you start getting into like your Montanas and Redwoods, you'll start to see a rolled roof. But it's uh, again, in this class, Cruiser Air does it. Just kind of goes to show you the quality that they put into these units. Uh, power awning on there, underneath that you'll see. So touch of a button, that's going to roll out. Touch of a button rolls back in. Super simple and easy to use. Uh, also underneath that is going to be the outside speakers. That way if you want to sit out here and listen to music, you can easily do that, set up camp. That's going to be controlled by your multimedia center inside, however it is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you want to connect uh, to that via Bluetooth, you can certainly do that and be able to control any kind of streaming music or really whatever you want to listen to. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and open this up. Be your two 30 pound propane tanks there, so you have 60 pounds of propane. Of course, you switch over right there on front. Plenty of propane for you. The other side will have a similar door, but it's going to have storage in there instead because they were able to fit both the tanks on one side. Take a look here, it's going to be the pass through storage. Nice big pass through there. You do have a light right over here, and then you're also going to have TV hookups. So, if you do want an outside TV, nice and easy to go ahead and hook that up right. Right there. Now if you notice, this is nice and easy to put up too. Look at that. Magnets, right? Fantastic. Don't have to worry about breaking any kind of clips off. And it's going to be a slam latch baggage door. So you just drop it and it does the rest. So super easy. Uh, getting into the coach is nice and easy too. You have three steps. First step's nice and low, so that way you don't have to hurt your knees climbing up in there. And you have the uh, grab handle here as well to assist you in entering into the coach. So talk about slides a little bit. Uh, I really like the slides on the Cruiser Air. They do a lot of great things. Uh, they kind of have this ridge in here which really sturdies up this slide wall. I mean you, can, you can't bend the slide wall. A lot of them you'll take it and it'll flex. Not the case on the Cruiser Air. Also when it does seal up they have a bulb seal running along the slide itself as well as the bulb seal here on the wall. And so this one's going to mate up right next to it. Kind of kiss the wall right there which gives you a double bulb seal on there as well as the swiper seal. It's going to be one of the best seals for leak prevention. So, uh, you know, again, just something that shows what they're putting into this Cruiser Air. That's going to be uh, something I really like that they do. If you take a look underneath the slide, you'll see these do have aluminum rims, which not only help the coach look really nice, but are also going to help prevent rust and corrosion. Also, these are going to be nitrogen filled tires, which will give you more even tire wear, prolonging the life of the tire itself. In between both the tires, if you notice, there is going to be an Equiflex suspension in there. That's going to help take a lot of the bumps out of the road, which again, in turn, is going to help your toe, uh, toe experience. And this is also going to have the correct track alignment system. What that does is over time, your axles can actually become misaligned. You can bring that in. We can realign those axles nice and easily without having to cut them and re-weld them. So it's going to be a lot better feature on the maintenance side of things. If we come around to the back side of the RV, 
You'll notice right underneath the bumper here, there is going to be a propane quick connect. So if you want an outside grill, all you have to do is just hook up that quick connect right there, and that'll allow you to pull off the 60 pounds of propane from the coach rather than having to bring your little green bottles. Also, mounted underneath the coach is going to be a hitch. This is a big deal uh, if you're someone that likes to, to bring a boat with you. A lot of times if you weld a hitch onto the frame uh, aftermarket, it's going to void the warranty. Not the case the Cruiser Air because it comes that way from the factory. It is going to be rated for 3,000 pounds or uh, 300 pounds of tongue weight. So that way, again, you can put a boat, be able to tow it with you um, and not have to worry about voiding the warranty on here. Speaking of, two year limited warranty on this coach which is absolutely phenomenal you don't hear that very often in this industry most of the time it's going to be one year so again crews are really stepping up ladder it's going to be mounted to the rear wall uh, big advantage of that you don't have to bring a ladder with you they're big they take up a lot of room in the pass-through having it mounted is nice and convenient that way you can crawl up on the full walkable roof for any kind of maintenance or any other reason you want to get up there if you take a look at the roof itself you'll notice it is going to be curved uh, that way your rainwater is not going to sit up on the top like it would on a flat roof it's going to run to the sides where you'll have the rain gutters taking it to the front and back and it's going to fall there not down on the campsite all right folks it's pretty much going to wrap it up out here let's go take a look at the beautiful inside welcome to the inside of the cruiser air 28 se start off right over here in our entertainment center so front and center is going to be your 32 inch tv this will be on a swing arm mount so whether you want to turn it around to the kitchen or uh, into your living room either way you can get a good view of the tv <clears throat> right underneath is the multimedia center. I did touch on this briefly when we were outside. Uh, I mentioned that this is Bluetooth capable. This will control the speakers outside as well as the speaker zones inside too. This is going to be a radio, CD, and a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, not a problem, go ahead and pop it in and then it'll appear right here on your 32 inch TV. The other thing I do like to mention, both the TV and the multimedia center are going to be Jensen Electronics. Now that may not mean a lot to you, but it should. Jensen Electronics are built specifically for the RV industry. They're built to withstand the temperature extremes as well as the vibration and shock from going down the road. So that is you know, gonna be better than an um, off-brand. Take a look at the cabinetry on here, raised panel cabinetry, absolutely gorgeous. We'll go ahead and open it up. Huge storage area right there. Uh, nice cutout here as well. And then on the side, right there, again, two very large storage areas. So great storage in the multimedia center, <clears throat> or entertainment center rather. Down below is the fireplace. Now, the thing I like about a fireplace, not only does it look nice when you turn it on, but it's also very functional as it is gonna be a space heater. So if you're at a campsite and you don't have to pay for electric, basically think of that as free heat. And it does a great job of heating up the space without having to use up any propane. Right over here is the freestanding table and chairs. This will open up. You can see you have extra storage there. Also, right underneath is going to be a leaf. So if you do uh, want extra space, you can go ahead and pop that leaf out and that'll give you a little bit of extra room for your guests. Four chairs all the way around here. Uh, the chairs, all four of them are gonna have extra storage, which is a great place for um, you know maybe paper plates or napkins, something nice and easy you can go ahead and throw in there. Also in this coach, you're gonna have roller shades. You know, I, I say it all the time, but I absolutely love roller shades. They're so easy. You don't have to worry about the strings breaking or you know having any uh, blinds that bend and break. They're absolutely fantastic. They work very, very well. And you'll see those throughout all the living areas in this coach. So that again is going to be a big benefit. <clears throat> Let's take a look in the back here. You'll see the two uh, swivel rockers. These are gonna be extremely comfortable. You'll also so notice these right here they do have the lever to go ahead and kick back so if you want to recline you can do that as well um, but you know great placement as I mentioned very comfortable these are going to be nice and plush and if you look out the back that's the big rear picture window so having these people to swivel around is really cool because in the morning you can uh, enjoy your morning cup of coffee or orange juice be able to flip those around and enjoy the view out the back so I love the fact they're able to do that right here is gonna be a stand so so, you know, if you need a place to put your morning coffee, you can put it right there. Storage underneath. And on both sides here is going to be an electrical outlet. Today's day and age, a lot of us uh, use electronics, whether it's a tablet, a laptop, a smartphone. And if you want to sit in your favorite chair and be able to plug it in, if it's running low, you can easily do that. 
up top is going to be great storage. You can see here they have the nice decorative glass. We open this up, it is going to be strut assisted so it holds itself up which really makes it nice and easy to get up in here and access whatever we have put up there. Also wood trim all the way around, you know, it has a nice look there. Uh, the speakers, as I mentioned, their speakers are going to be back here, you can see over there. And you have LED lights throughout this entire coach. Nice thing about that is it's not going to use near as much power. So if you are at a campsite where you don't have electric hookup, you're going to be able to run longer off your batteries. Let's take a look right over here. This is our off door slide. So this does have dual opposing slides in this couch, which real or this coach rather, which really opens this up. This is going to be the couch. Uh, Trifold sofa here. Trifold sofas are going to be the best type of uh, bed you can get in an RV besides an actual bed. Uh, the reason is that you're going to use the cushions from the couch itself in most of your trifolds. You're not going to have a big bar in your back like your old school uh, pullouts, and it's not going to be an air mattress where you're going to wake up and it's going to be deflated on you. So uh, again, a just very comfortable uh, bed system for any kind of guests. And the couch itself is also going to be very comfortable to sit in. On top of that, it looks very nice. Same thing here, nice window, roller shades on there. You know, these are going to be uh, the same thing they have in back. It has a strut assisted, nice, um, you know, nice storage there. And these are going to be very heavy duty. When you talk about, you know, coaches and how they're built, a lot of times we like to talk about construction. One of the things I like to show on the cruiser airs, all the cabinetry is going to be backed into steel. And you want to talk about strength of that? Take a look. That's 215 pounds and those aren't moving. So you know that you can go ahead and hang on these. They do that throughout. Just goes to show you the superior quality of the cruiser air. So we take a step further, we'll move into the kitchen. This is going to be Norcold fridge freezer. Open this up, eight cubic foot fridge, plenty of space in there. Has a cutout for taller items if you wanna put those in there. This is going to turn off both propane and electric and it has automatic switch over for you which is really cool. So, you know, if you're running it off propane, as soon as you plug into shore power, switches over to electric, saving you on your propane gas. And you can take a look right here, see the thermostat's gonna be right on the outside as well so it's nice and easy to adjust. The panels in here match the cabinetry, so beautiful beautiful panel work on there. Uh, take a look over here, this is the microwave. We have some weights on here for you. The weight of this unit is just over 8,400 pounds, so nice and lightweight, with a pin weight under 1,600 pounds. So that gives you an idea of what you're looking at, and again, nice lightweight uh, fifth wheel. On the side, good storage compartment there. Excellent start for a pantry. Uh, decorative backsplash we have here. Solid surface countertops throughout the kitchen, which are absolutely beautiful. Uh, plug in right here, so if you need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever it may be, you can go ahead and set that there. Has a cover on the three burner cooktop and an oven underneath for anything that you want to bake. Also, additional storage, you'll see you have a drawer right here underneath the refrigerator and a drawer underneath the oven, as well as a bank of three full extension drawers right over here, the bottom one being nice and deep. Now the other thing they do that's really cool in the Cruiser Air is this right here. They give you kind of this peninsula and if you notice it's different colored woodwork. This is going to kind of match with the furniture so it pulls the living space in together uh, while creating a nice effect. Like I said, kind of having a different color cabinetry. Beautiful solid surface countertops again and because you have solid surface countertops that's going to allow for an undermount stainless steel sink. Double bowl sink of course make it nice and easy for washing, rinse and dishes and a high rise stainless faucet. Now the, uh, the sink top cover is going to be cutting board quality so you can go ahead and flip this over to use it as a cutting board. Then when you're done of course just put it right back. Plugins, plug in here as well as here. So again, anything you want to plug in, you certainly can. And if you take a look right here, you'll notice the charging center. Um, so if you want to charge any kind of cell phone, you can. Just, you have two USBs to go ahead and plug in right there. Makes it nice and simple. And then thermostat right here. Take a look at the storage up top. Beautiful storage up top. 
Uh, storage in the top side here, right here, same thing you're gonna have there. Now the control panel is going to be tucked away. I like that they do this as well uh, because you know if you do have any kids or grandkids that are gonna come, they're not gonna be messing with this. Plus it's kind of unsightly, so it is nice to hide it. Of course you have your tank monitoring system in there, all your slide rooms, awning controls, the light on your awning. Um, and then this is kind of neat too, they actually have lights behind a lot of your um, main lights in the, uh, in the coach itself. So that way you can kind of see them when they're on, makes it nice and easy to see at night. All right, folks, that's uh, pretty much gonna wrap it up. Oh, underneath here, let me show you this. Underneath you have great storage as well, forgot to show you that, so big storage there. Same thing here, huge storage, you get a trash can there, and you have another bank of three drawers. So you have three on that side, you have three more on this side, and again, that bottom one's gonna be nice and deep. All right, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up down here. Let's head up top, we'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. In the bathroom, you can see right over here in the corner is the foot flush porcelain toilet. Plenty of leg room there for you, as well as a heat duct. Over here is gonna be the shower. Nice big shower. You can see you have a seat, plenty of shelving there, hand wand, and the tri-slide glass door enclosure, as well as a skylight up top, lets in a lot of natural light and gives you some headroom. Uh, also have a vent in here, AC duct, LED lighting. You can see the mirror medicine cabinet with storage and a little bit further down is going to be our sink great countertop space and storage underneath the bedroom is going to feature a full walk around queen bed if you take a look this is going to be the iCool sleep system which is going to be a memory uh, cooling memory foam extremely comfortable mattress which is great because a lot of times you buy the RV and you can't sleep in the bed not the case in the cruiser air also you have storage underneath nice and easy to lift up you can access the storage here but even better, take a look at that. You have two drawers right down below, so super easy access. Go ahead and put this back down. You can see the headboard, uh, beautiful leather headboard up there, two LED lights, and on either side you have huge shelves. Big advantage of that is whether you're, um, you know, have a glass of water or charging a cell phone, a tablet, or if you have a CPAP machine, the shelves are big enough you can put it on either side of the bed. Also, you have cubby holes underneath and some pull-out drawers. Take a look across the top, you have storage all the way across the top there as well. And same thing as out in the living room, those are going to be uh, strut supported. Right over here is a slide out wardrobe. So if you notice, because you have the big shelves, you don't have wardrobes on the side of the bed, but they more than make up for it right here. You have huge wardrobe space. This is going to be an adjustable shelf. You can adjust that to whatever height you want. And then right over here is the, uh, as I mentioned, the wardrobe. So you have plenty of hanging space for clothes. Also, if you want TV, not a problem, right there is gonna be the mount for the mounting location for the TV, as well as your hookups. And then over here is going to be a couple of robe hooks, as well as an electrical outlet and shelf right here down below. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a fantastic coach. It's the Cruiser Air 28 SE. It's an amazing couples coach floor plan. The dual opposing slides in that main living area give you a ton of room. You know, nice big galley area, the solid surface countertops, plenty of storage underneath. You know, just gorgeous in and out. One you really have to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video, or you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.